I love Christmas. All the trimmings and the trappings. I love carol services. I love nativity scenes, as you'll guess, from this rather splendid one here. But best of all, I love the Christmas story, the coming of the Christ child. And my favourite part of that story is the shepherds uh, hearing the message of the angels on the hillside and hurrying to Bethlehem and kneeling before the manger and worshipping the infant king. I just love the fact that their homespun garments and the smell of the fields and the sheep contrast with the magnificence and the wisdom and the erudition of the Magi. I've known the story of the shepherd since childhood. Yep, I was once a shepherd with a tea towel on my head and an old dressing gown. And I can recite Luke 2 from verse 8 onwards by heart. In fact, I know it so well that eight years ago when I was having cancer treatment and I had to have MRI scans uh, and it's, it's a horrible feeling trapped in there, I would cope with it by closing my eyes and saying, and they were in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night, when lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. I love the Christmas story, and I love the part that the shepherds played. I could stay in the stable for the rest of my life, I think, just wallowing in the glory and the wonder of the, this moment. But this year, I find myself with an urge to put up a big notice saying, don't stop here, move right along, please. I'll tell you why. It's too easy to settle into the cosy comfort of the season, uh, to allow the wonder of the incarnation to become no more than sentiment and a nice feeling. And this year of all years, it just won't do. We've come through a difficult 12 months. We've come through a time when COVID has reminded us and is still reminding us of our humanity, our vulnerability and our mortality. So I want to say, don't stop here. Move right along, please. The Magi had to return to the distant land from whence they came. The shepherds had to go back to their work on the hillside. But we need to move along, not into the past of this story, but into the future that grew from it. For we need to move from Bethlehem to the carpenter's shop in Nazareth. The baby in the arms of his mother became the man who spoke the words and did those dramatic healing actions of his ministry. In fact, we need to move all the way from the cradle to the cross. Because that's where God in Jesus took all of our humanity upon himself, all our vulnerability, our mortality, our flaws and our frailties, our selfishness and our sin. All the way from Bethlehem to Calvary, all the way from a wooden manger to a wooden cross. Indulge me if you will. Every year, and most years, I like to write a few verses about Christmas or Easter or whatever. I wrote this about 10 years ago, and I'd like to read it to you now because it sums up that sentiment I have that we must not stop here. We need to move right along. Here it is. We joyfully bow at the manger where the Christmas tale began, but the story grows much stranger with a bleeding and crucified man. But the terrible beauty of Calvary surpasses the scene of his birth, for there is the full revelation of peace and goodwill on the earth. Oh yes, we eagerly walked with the shepherds who came to the manger by night and entering into the stable we too are amazed at the sight. The shepherds have come from the hillside, their sheep and their lambs left behind. But we journey with them to discover a lamb of a different kind. 
And we travel the miles of the Magi who've followed the light of a star, admiring the presents they carry, expensive and brought from afar. But laying those gifts by the manger, we know that the child who lies there will one day present such an offering that no gift of ours can compare. Oh, enjoy Christmas. Enjoy all the trimmings and the trappings. Enjoy the nativity scene. Enjoy the glorious story of the incarnation of God becoming a tiny, frail baby. But don't stop there. Enjoy the story in all its fullness. Discover again the meaning of Bethlehem, the meaning of the ministry of Jesus, the meaning of Calvary where God takes our humanity and in his love takes it at its best and its worst and redeems us. Have a great Christmas.